Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to make some egg holders. These are so, so cute and they are currently half price. So we're gonna work with two files today. I'm gonna to show you how we bring them into design space, how we make sure they're the right size and also how we can amend them for different egg sizes as well. So this is the first file that we are going to work with and there are 16 animal egg sizes in here. They are beautiful and as I say they're half price at the moment and I will link them in the description below. Now these are set to cream egg sizes but you can change that and I'll show you how you can do that. What I love about this is that the size that you need for a cream egg is all written down for you in the file information. So once I've purchased this file, I can download it and you'll see we've got our 16 different animals in there. So I'm just going to open up the giraffe. You'll find two SVG documents. The top one is for cricket and the other one is for other cut machines. And there's also a PDF and a PNG file which shows you how to put these together, but they are so easy to put together. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm simply going to paste it to my pictures so it's nice and easy for me to find. Now the next file is this gorgeous doctor and nurse egg holder set. Again, these are half price. I will link to them in the description below. And these are for larger eggs, such as Kinder eggs. And again, they're easily adaptable. So exactly the same as before, we're going to download it. So we're going to do the nurse one first. So if we open that up, there's a PNG file. Again, there's two SVG files. The first one is for Cricut and the second one is for other cutting machines. So again, I'm gonna click and copy the Cricut SVG and I'm going to paste that to my pictures so it's nice and easy to find. If we open up Design Space we can then go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse, I'm going to select the giraffe and open. It will already have a name but it's worth adding a tag as well, something nice and simple like Ed Holder so it's nice and easy to find and then save. We can then upload image, browse and I'm going to bring in the koala and exactly the same, it's got a name but we can add a tag to it and then save. You can then select those and insert them to your canvas. So if we have a quick look at the original file You'll see it tells us the sizes that they need to be for a cream egg. So if we just highlight the giraffe one here, it needs to be three inches wide and the koala needs to be three inches wide as well. Now they should come into design space in the correct size, but I already know that the koala doesn't. The giraffe does, however, but I'm just gonna show you very quickly how you can check. So select your image and go to ungroup, draw around that whole set. And then at the top here, we've got a line and center. And you'll see it's at a width of three inches. We can then simply go back because we don't need to change anything. For the koala, exactly the same. We can select it and ungroup, highlight, align, and center and you'll see this is actually smaller than it needs to be. So all we're going to do is change the width to three inches. You want to make sure that the lock is on because it keeps your proportions and then enter and that will give us the size that we need for that. So if we go back to upload, we can now bring in the doctor and the nurse and it's exactly the same process. Again, just as before, if you go to the file, it will tell you the size you need for a Kinder Egg or something of a similar size. So the nurse needs to be a width of 3.63 inches. So again, all we need to do is select the nurse and go to ungroup and then draw around it all. 
a line and center. And that's at currently 3.28 inches. So we do need to amend that to 3.363 and enter. And again, make sure you've got that lock on. And of course we can roughly put it back together, but it's not, it's not the end of the world because we know kind of how it's meant to look. And all we've done is change the size. And then the same for the doctor. If we ungroup that and we highlight a line and center, the width on that one is 3.669. And that is the correct width, so we don't need to change that one. And of course, we can just go straight back to undo. You don't need to do a lot to these. If you want to change the colours so that you know what colour card you're cutting in, then you can. So for example, if we look at the unicorn, I actually want to cut that in purple colours. So if I go to the layer and I come to my layers panel, I can select each individual layer and change it so that I know that I'm going to be working in different shades of purple, for example. So I've bought in this llama corn, which is from the 16 image set, and I want to make it the size for a Kinder Egg or an egg of a similar size. This is nice and easy to do. So I'm just gonna use the doctor file. And we've got this silhouette piece here. You do need to make sure it's ungrouped. And all I'm going to do is duplicate it. And then I'm gonna bring the duplicate across to where my llama is. Now I haven't resized my llama at this point because I'm going to resize it manually to have it fit the Kinder Egg or an egg of that size. So I'm going to take that duplicate and I'm going to go to Contour, which is at the bottom of your Layers panel. And I'm just going to select the body part so that when I come out of my Contour, I'm just left with that egg shape. So if I bring that over to my Llama, we can sit it on top of our llama and then what we're going to do is actually resize everything. So we want to make sure it's still all grouped together, which it is. And then we want to also make sure that that is still on so that it's nice in proportion. That still needs to be a little bit bigger. Let's just go a little bit more. And if we move that down slightly, we should see that that is just about perfect. So if we click on our llama and we go to our layers, we can see that we've got two layers there that need that new egg shape. So I'm going to select the purple one first and it's easier just to do it via your layers panel. And I'm going to go to contour and I'm just going to contour away the current egg hole. And if we hide our black egg, you'll see that that purple is now solid. We also need to do that layer there so we can go to contour and contour that out. So we now need to slice our egg into those two layers, but of course we can only slice a layer at a time. So if I click the egg in my layers panel and hold down my control key on my keyboard, I can select that purple layer and I can then select slice. And you'll see it comes up with three new layers. So we've got our cut out egg, which is what we want. The purple one we can delete. And for the time being, we're going to keep the black one. And again, we're going to select that, hold our control key down and select our teal layer. 
And again, we can slice. We can get rid of that egg. And we can also get rid of the black one now. We can then select the purple layer and just go to Arrange and Center Back. And we can do the same with the teal one, center back. And there we go. We have now resized that so it will fit a larger egg. Equally, if I want to make the doctor, for example, smaller, I can. So let's pick the unicorn. And we're just going to duplicate that. And with the duplicate, we're going to ungroup it. And we're just going to delete everything apart from one of those layers. And we'll just keep that one. It doesn't matter which one. We just want the egg shape. We can then select that, go to contour, contour away the body, and then we're just left with that egg. So we need to group our doctor back together. So just draw around him and then select group. We can bring our egg over. And then again, we are just going to reduce that down. And that's about perfect. And you can, if you wanted to, obviously do what we've just done with the other one. But that shape is pretty much the same. So I personally would just leave it like that. But if you want to contour away the current egg shapes and then bring the new one in, you can. But to be fair, they are pretty much of a very similar shape. So I would tend, in fact, you can go a little bit smaller. I would just leave it as it is. So I'm going to cut out my doctor as a smaller egg and my nurse as a larger egg. I'm going to do my llama corn as a larger egg and I'm going to do my giraffe as it is. Now I'm using my maker, you can cut these on the air and if we also change it to joy and we go to make it, we're going to be using cardstock so we are going to need a mat As long as you've got the larger mats for your joy, you'll be able to cut these out as well. Now there are score lines in these files, but they are broken. So just leave them as cut lines. You don't need to change them. You get a much neater fold as well with uh, broken cut lines. So just leave them as a cut line. You do not need to change them to a score.
actually really easy and nice to put together. And what I like about them is that you can embellish them as well. So we're going to do this one first, which is the llama. Nice and simple to do. You're going to need some glue. I'm really loving this Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive at the moment. Everything from today's tutorial will be in the links below. This is great glue. So I'm just going to do my gluing first. And this glitter card, all my other card I've used is AC um, Crafts. But this is a tonic glitter card. And I have to say, it cuts beautifully. There's enough glitter on this, so I'm not going to embellish uh, the accent pieces, but on some of the others, I am. So we're going to glue this piece to our legs, and it's going to act as a table for our egg to sit in. And we can add glue to the other side. And then we're just going to glue the top area together. So about there is perfect. And there we go. That's our first one all put together and finished. And as you can see, they're nice and easy to do. And I want to add just a little bit of shine to that cardstock. So I'm going to use um, Cosmic Shimmer Metallic Gilding Polish. And this is Gold Treasure. For the eyes, I just want to add a little bit of sparkles. I'm going to use Cosmic Shimmer Glitter Kiss. We've got Frosty Sparkle Kiss and Midnight Sparkle. So I'm just going to use some of the Frosty Sparkle. Oh, it's so pretty. Just on the whites of the eyes. And then Midnight. just to give a little bit of glitter to the black of the eyes. Again, we can add the egg holder part and we can add some glue to the other side. And then glue that in place. Again, we want to add some to the top and then there we go our giraffe egg holder is now all ready to go so we'll do the nurse first again this is really self-explanatory so you've got two base pieces and then you've got your actual nurse pieces. I just want to add a little bit of shimmer to that. So we're going to use the Nouveau Glitter Accent. I love working with these. And I'm just going to decant a little bit and then use my brush to add that to my cross. Again, we've got our base for our egg to sit in. So 
So we can glue that in place. Add glue to the other side. And of course we're going to glue a little bit at the top as well. And there we go, that is our nurse done. You can find all the details of everything I've used today in the description below, including the half price files. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Please do subscribe, give the video a like, leave a comment if you've got anything to ask, and of course, hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted of when I upload a new video. See you all soon. Bye.